see it in mass and in writing all at once kind of showed me the gravity of it and how prevalent it is. Local teacher raising a red flag to parents about what their young teens are doing on social media. Good evening, everybody. She gave Utah County Middle School kids an assignment to describe what they do online, and their answer is so concerning, she's speaking now about it publicly. Yeah, with good reason. New specialist Nicole Val spoke with the teacher, who says she felt compelled to share the anonymous and eye-opening responses hoping parents will take action. Nicole? Well, Dini, the Alpine School District teacher took to social media to share her students' anonymous replies, and her post has since been shared almost 14,000 times. Now, this assignment centers around the secret world of social media and what parents don't know is going on. If you are a parent, you're definitely going to want to listen to this. Something that I've tried to do all year is get to know the kids better. In Skipper um, Coates' really ninth grade like, science yeah. classrooms, she uses see. index cards as a tool to fine. learn about her students on a more personal but level. I try to spend that time getting to know the whole person. Gotten answers from them, sometimes anonymous, sometimes not. And this was the latest question she posed to her pupils. Ask them to finish a sentence. What my parents don't know about social media is blank. The majority of the replies. Very candid responses. Um, Mrs. Coates says. Kind of showed me the gravity of it. Were pretty concerning. And how prevalent it is for so many of them. Most of the answers centered around two things. There's a higher chance of bullying. Bullying and nudes, nudes, nudes. Girls getting asked for nudes in the middle of the school day. You know, get a hall pass, run to the bathroom, send a nude. And it's happening all day long. Out of 129th graders, she got 85 revealing responses. Hide pictures, buy drugs. I expose and make fun of everyone. And I love catfishing. Porn, sexting, bullying. It's a death trap for self-consciousness and cyber bullies. Responses she felt obligated to bring to light to make parents more aware of what's going on online, to spark a conversation, and to work toward a solution. The adults of the community, we need to work together. We need to use every resource we have, and we need to help this generation navigate something that we're total strangers to. Yeah, certainly eye-opening. And another thing Ms. Coates told me, she said, it doesn't even matter if your children have a smartphone or own one at all. She says regularly students are sharing smartphones in school, logging into social media accounts that parents may not even know their children have. Dini. Wow, Nicole, as a parent of middle school kids, that is concerning. And it once again demonstrates the importance of the Safe Utah app as a resource for parents and students. You can anonymously report threats or find help if you need it. Just head over to your app store and download it for free. At a Marshall